The subjective sweetness of a wine is determined by the interaction of several factors, including the amount of sugar in the wine, but also the relative levels of alcohol, acids, and tannins. Sugars and alcohol enhance a wine's sweetness, acids sourness, and bitter tannins counteract it. These principles are outlined in the 1987 work by Emile Peynod, The Taste of Wine. History Vintage, The Story of Wine, by Hugh Johnson, presents several methods that have been used throughout history to sweeten wine. The most common way was to harvest the grapes as late as possible. This method was advocated by Virgil and Martial in Roman times. In contrast, the ancient Greeks would harvest the grapes early, to preserve some of their acidity, and then leave them in the sun for a few days to allow them to shrivel and concentrate the sugar. In Crete, a similar effect was achieved by twisting the stalks of the grape to deprive them of sap and letting them dry on the vine—a method that produced possum and the modern Italian equivalent, passito. Stopping the fermentation also enhanced a wine's potential sweetness. In ancient times, this was achieved by submerging the amphoras in cold water till winter. Wine can also be sweetened by the addition of sugar in some form, after fermentation is completed, the German method like the Sussreserve. In Roman times, this was done in preparing mulsum, wine freshly sweetened with honey and flavored with spices, used as an aperitif, and also in the manufacture of conditum, which had similar ingredients but was matured and stored before drinking. Residual sugar Among the components influencing how sweet a wine will taste is residual sugar. It is usually measured in grams of sugar per liter of wine, often abbreviated to G, L or gram per liter. Residual sugar typically refers to the sugar remaining after fermentation stops, or is stopped, but it can also result from the addition of unfermented must a technique practiced in Germany and known as Sussreserve or ordinary table sugar. Even among the driest wines, it is rare to find wines with a level of less than 1 gram per liter, due to the unfermentability of certain types of sugars, such as pentose. By contrast, any wine with over 45 grams per liter would be considered sweet, though many of the great sweet wines have levels much higher than this. For example, the great vintages of Chateau d'Aachim contain between 100 and 150 grams per liter of residual sugar. The sweetest form of the Tokaji, the Essencia, contains over 450 grams per liter, with exceptional vintages registering 900 grams per liter. Such wines are balanced, keeping them from becoming cloyingly sweet, by carefully developed use of acidity. This means that the finest sweet wines are made with grape varieties that keep their acidity even at very high ripeness levels, such as Riesling and Chenin Blanc. How sweet a wine will taste is also controlled by factors such as the acidity and alcohol levels, the amount of tannin present, and whether the wine is sparkling or not. A sweet wine such as a Vouvray can actually taste dry due to the high level of acidity. A dry wine can taste sweet if the alcohol level is elevated. Medium and sweet wines have a perception among many consumers of being of lower quality than dry wines. However, many of the world's great wines, such as those from Sauternes including Barsac or Tokai, have a high level of residual sugar, which is carefully balanced with additional acidity to produce a harmonious result. Sus reserve. Sussreserve German, Schurserve, literally meaning sweet reserve, is a wine term referring to a portion of selected unfermented grape must, free of microorganisms, to be added to wine as a sweetening component. This technique was developed in Germany and is used with German style wines such as semi sweet Riesling or Muller Thurgau. The technique not only raises the sugar level of the wine, but also lowers the amount of alcohol. Under German law, no more than 15% of the final wine's volume may be the reserved juice. This practice is allowed also for Prädikatswein, the highest level in the German wine classification. It is often used for semi-sweet Cabernet and Spotlys, but more rarely for Auslys and upward. The use of Sussreserve gives a different composition of sugars in the wine in comparison to arrested fermentation. Grape must contains mainly the sugars glucose and fructose. When wine ferments, glucose is fermented at a faster rate than fructose. 
Thus, arresting fermentation when a significant portions of the sugars have fermented gives a wine where the residual sugar consists mainly of fructose, while the use of susreserve will give a wine where the sweetness comes from a mixture of glucose and fructose. Terms used to indicate sweetness of wine European Union terms for wine According to EU Regulation 753 2000 seconds, the following terms may be used on the labels of table wines and quality wines the following list also includes translations to non-EU languages not mentioned in the EU Directive. <laughs> European Union terms for sparkling wine Sparkling wines have ratings according to Commission Regulation EC No 607 2009 of the 14th of July 2009 Article 58 points out the sugar content may not differ by more than 3 grams per liter from what appears on the product label so there is some leeway for example a sparkling wine with 9 grams per liter of residual sugar may be labeled as either the drier less sweet classification of extra brut because 9 to 3 Topic: 6 grams per liter, or the slightly sweeter classification of brut or even extra dry, extra sec, extra seco, because 9 plus 3. 12 grams per liter. The rules applicable to labelings before the 14th of July 2009 were. Topic: Wine producing countries. Topic: Austria. In Austria, the Klosterneuburger Mostwage (KMW) scale is used. The scale is divided into Klosterneuburger Zuckergrade (degree KMW) and very similar to the Excel scale (one degree KMW equals tilde five degrees O). However, the KMW measures the exact sugar content of the must. Topic. Canada In Canada, the wine industry measures wine sweetness as grams of sucrose in 100 grams of grape juice or grape must at 20 degrees Celsius in degrees bricks. Topic: <laughs> Czech Republic and Slovakia. In Czech Republic and Slovakia, the normalizovaný mostomer (degree NM) scale is used. The scale measures kilogram of sugar in 100 L of must. CSN and STN 257621 1.3. 1987. Topic: France. In France, the Bamé scale is occasionally used. Selection de grains nobles (SGN) is French for selection of noble berries and refers to wines made from grapes affected by noble rot. SGN wines are sweet dessert wines with rich, concentrated flavors. Alsace wines were the first to be described as Selection de Grains Nobles, with the legal definition introduced in 1984. The term is also used in some other wine regions of France, such as Loire. <laughs> Germany In Germany, must wine sweetness is measured with the Excel scale and below are ranges of minimum must weights for Riesling, depending on the region. Cabinet 67 to 82 degrees O, Spotlys 76 to 90 degrees O, Auslys 83 to 100 degrees O, Biranoslys and Eiswein 110 to 128 degrees O. Eiswein is made by late harvesting grapes after they have frozen on the vine and not necessarily affected by noble rot, botrytis, which is the case with Biranoslys. Trocken Biranoslys 150 to 154 degrees O, affected by botrytis. Topic: Hungary. 
In Hungary, Tokai wine region, also Tokai Hegelja wine region or Tokai Hegelja, has a more graduated terminology to describe Tokaji Asu dessert wines. Topic: <laughs> Spain. In Spain, the rules applicable to the sweet and fortified denominations of origin Montilla Morals and Jerez Zers Sherry are. United States In the United States, the wine industry measures the sweetness of must and wine in degrees bricks. See also Health effects of wine Wine and food matching